I think we're live. (laughs) It is live. Let's get started. Yes. Well, hi, everyone. Um, Catherine, excuse me, Catherine Yarber and I are welcoming you to the first Real Women, Real Purpose talk show. Uh, This is going to be up on YouTube, and we're here today to introduce you and talk to you a little bit about what we're up to, because we've got some exciting stuff going on. I am Jenny Robertson, and I am the founder of and one of the hosts of the Real Woman Real Women, Real Purpose talk show. I'm glad we're doing this in a friendly group, Catherine. Me too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm here with my other host, Catherine Yarborough. And Catherine, why don't you tell people what we're going to be talking about today? So hi, Jenny, and hello, everyone. Today, Jenny and I are going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about being seen and being heard. And in particular, we're going to share with you our own individual reasons why we're committed to providing opportunities for women to be seen and to be heard. We're also going to tell you a little bit about our special going on, the Be Seen, Be Heard ad interview special that's associated with the On Purpose Woman magazine and the On Purpose Woman global um, community. And, um, and then if anybody posts any questions, hopefully we'll figure out how to get to those questions and <laughs> be able to answer them. So Jenny, I, let's get started with this. Why don't okay. you just tell folks a little bit about why you're committed to providing opportunities for women to be seen and be heard? Because I want to say I've been seeing you do this since I met you in 2001. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Catherine. And I, have, I started the On Purpose Woman community 20 years ago, to give women a place to show up and practice being seen and heard and practice being who they really are. And so everything that I do does, you know, in, incorporates that, the, the live meetings, the, the in-person meetings, rather, the online meetings, the On Purpose Woman magazine, all of those are opportunities for women to be seen and heard. And it's something I'm really passionate about. It really is my purpose to provide venues and opportunities and just a space for women to do that. And I think the main reason it's really important to me is we women have a lot to offer. We we are change agents. Um, That's kind of an overused word, but we are. And we're going to we're going to change the world. We're going to get things right again, I do believe. We're right, maybe for the first time ever. And I think that the more we can amplify women's voices and help them be seen and heard, the greater impact they can make in the world, whether it's in their home, their community, their business, the greater just just the greater good. And the more impact they make, often the more income they make. And then all all the women I really know well want to use some of that money to make a greater difference in the world. So that's my top reason right there. How about you? Well, I just want to say thank you, Jenny, for all that you've done for women and also for me, because I've been a part of this community since 2001. Uh, just right after it started. And this community has given me an opportunity to be seen and be heard both in person in Maryland and now online and through the magazine and through this community. And I am very grateful. I've also been honored to witness my fellow On Purpose Woman sisters at, you know, over the years to have those opportunities to be seen and be heard. And it's just been beautiful to watch that and also to watch your ongoing commitment to that for us. Because for a lot of us women, it is challenging to speak up. It's challenging to even get clear about what we want to say. Sometimes we're sitting there holding it all in. If only y'all would know this, if only you would do this, if only you'd fix this or whatever it is, but oh my goodness. Um, you, because you give us these opportunities, so many women who have been part of this community have gotten their message out. Now, one of the things that I've done, and I know you've uh, watched me over the years evolve with my business, but I support mostly women, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and small business owners in manifesting clients and growing a business that they love. In addition to in addition in addition to being one of the co-leaders of the On Purpose Woman Global Community and the creative director of the magazine of our magazine and um, the facilitator of two of our online events now, I am the creator of the Manifesting Clients Academy. So one of the things that I do is I provide solutions for the challenges that on purpose 
heart-based solopreneurs and small business owners have. One of the challenges we have is finding opportunities to get our message out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm so excited that we're expanding what we're going to be doing in terms of supporting um, folks and being and supporting women, in particular women entrepreneurs, and getting their message out and being seen. So I, I um, what I want to do now is ask, I think that what would be good for us to do right now is to talk about this the On Purpose Woman magazine. It was I was we had some notes here. I was looking to see where we were. In. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, oh, sorry, I was looking down. But um, I still can't get a, used to looking into the camera. Um, <laughs> I'm looking everywhere, but because I want to look at your face when you talk, you know, I want to look at your face. I don't want to look in the camera. <laughs> so who knows where I'm looking at any given moment. So, yeah. <laughs> so tell, tell, tell folks about the magazine and how that's all part of all of this. Okay. Um, I started the On Purpose Woman magazine, I guess it's been 15 years ago, roughly 15 years ago. And I've always wanted to do a magazine. And I remember back in the, oh gosh, probably the early 80s, getting a book out of the library, because this was before the internet, on starting a magazine. And it said that if you want to start a magazine, and it was, they were talking, because there really were no free publications that I was when, aware of out there. When was this? The early 80s. Early 80s? I was, I was still in my corporate old. career, but I, I didn't even know what kind of magazine, but I wanted to do a magazine. Wow. And this book said that if you want to create a magazine, you must have a minimum of a quarter of a million dollars to get started. And that was in the early 80s. I don't know what that would translate into today. So I said, if I have a quarter of a million dollars, I'm buying a beach house. <laughs> I'm not doing a magazine. And so I just tabled the idea. But you know, when I, when I we moved into this uh, cool downtown neighborhood that was being refurbished, I put together like little magazines. I would, um, like on things to do in the city. And I would, you know, I probably would have had a blog back then if that had been the thing. You don't even know that about me, I don't think. And so I, I think of that idea, the magazine was always in the back of my head. So that year that we started the magazine, I, my son married this lovely young woman and she had just graduated with a degree in graphic design. And I said to her, if I gave you ads and articles, do you know how to make it look like a magazine? Because I was <laughs> clueless. I knew there must be something that you use. <laughs> I knew I could get the ads and the articles, but I didn't know what to do with the rest and of it. What year was this again? That was um, probably 15 years ago. Yeah. Okay. So we're um, around 2005-ish. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, cause I think we dropped, no, it's probably been about 17 years now. Yeah. Probably 17 years. 2003. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she, her eyes lit up and she goes, oh, I love things like that. And so we found a printer. We went and met with them. I said, this is too hard. I don't see how you can do it. And she goes, it's not hard because they were just talking all this tech stuff. And, and within three months, we put out our first issue. And I don't know if you, you were around, I think, when yeah. they were all delivered to that meeting. Do you remember? Uh, there was thousands of magazines. I would Maybe you weren't there. I do you remember when I used to do those um, holiday boutique kind of things where people could have tables and people came in and shop. It was at the women's club in Catonsville. And they, we, we had our first issue delivered there so people could take bundles with them and put them out there in the world. Those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. Where are we, we now? Know. Where, where are but we I now always loved the magazine. And yes, because of a number of, a couple of circumstances that just came together. To, um, Alicia moving, she was already in the Midwest and she was moving and not really in a position to do this. I decided it's probably a good time to take a break and see where I am. And you and I started doing connections through conversation. And I remember one day I said, Jen, you need to start that magazine again, because that's a good way to get the information out. And I'm like, I can't do print again. To begin with, I don't know anybody who, you know, I'm sure I could so, find somebody, but I don't so know. So I'm going to interrupt you for a second, yeah. because I want listeners to hear something else that you're saying besides the specific um, thing you're talking about with the magazine, because this show is called Real Women, Real Purpose. This is Jenny's <laughs> purpose. Yeah. Like she's yeah. here to help women, to connect women around the world to their gifts, their purpose and each other. She's helping us get our words out, get our, be seen, be heard. And, and we're following, she's a real person, a real woman on this journey. She <laughs> yeah. created this print magazine and life happened, did it for four, what was it? 14 years, mm -hmm. life happened. And then, and then it was a couple of years and boy, it didn't make sense to do it in print. So now what? And, and now, that, yeah, yeah, and I think that's why I felt like I needed to tell this long story that 
you know, in the early 80s, I had this idea and I, it grabbed me, I guess, and I never let go of it, even though it wasn't consciously on my mind all the time, but it was still back there. So listen to that, people, because if something keeps nudging you, there's a clue. There's a clue. Yes, yes, yes. And I remember you were, you were telling me I needed to start the magazine again. And one thing I'm thinking, I think Catherine did a, like an online magazine for a, a little bit years ago, and she did a really nice job. So I got you and I said, Catherine, if we did an <laughs> online magazine, could you be the creative director and make it look beautiful? And you said, yeah, you think about it. I think you might have said, let me think about it. Or, let, <laughs> well, me, let me go back. Let me go back. Because that's a big thing to say yes to. But let me go back. And, and you said yes. And we did our first issue to a uh, year ago in January. And it's oh, yeah. beautiful. Year ago in January. And um, the only thing I sometimes hear, you know, I still have those people who say, oh, God, I love the print. I love to hold the print. And I just say, well, move past that now. <laughs> You know, because, <laughs> because, or go hold another magazine, but this, it's still just as valuable. Mm. In fact, we can do so much more with it because you're not constrained by pages and, you know, so it can have a more beautiful flow. And so that's, um, that's, it was my dream. It still is part of my purpose. And I want to use it even more as a vehicle for helping other women be seen and heard because why not? Mm-hmm. It's there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Did I say everything I was supposed to say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure where I am. Are so you supposed I to talk next, that, Catherine? I think that you're supposed to say, um, say, ask me to tell folks about the ad and interview special. Catherine, why don't you tell people about the ad and interview special? <laughs> okay. I love how informal we are about this. See, we wrote up something so we'd be all prepared and everything, uh-huh. but you know, we go on tangent. Yeah. So yeah. first of all, I want to say it was interesting. We were just talking to somebody else about the magazine who was suggesting a, a kind of technology upgrade and and it was really clear. Jenny was very clear. And she just said, it's her purpose. And, and uh, you know, I don't know that I'm going to be the creative director forever. I, though, maybe as the creative director will hire somebody else to put the magazine together at some point. And I'm just like, yeah. oh, yeah, make sure it looks like this. And I don't have to do the hands-on work yeah. of it. Now that I can stand behind, Jenny. <laughs> I can do that. Um, because it's not my purpose um in general but it's so much fun to do so it's such a wonderful expression I I I guess I love being creative and it's a fun way for me to be creative and it's a creative outlet which is interesting because my work my what I would call my more purposeful work is different but that I get to have this opportunity to provide to women entrepreneurs makes me so happy so let me tell you briefly about our Be Seen, Be Heard ad interview special. So first of all, the magazine, the On Purpose Woman magazine, to see it, go to onpurposewomanmagazine.com. We post links to it on a regular basis in the global com- the On Purpose Woman global community. There's links to the articles. Um, but if you want to go to the magazine, onpurposewomanmagazine.com, and you can see it. You can also get on Jenny's e-list, and she'll send you the link to get straight to it on the first of the month every month so you want to make sure you subscribe to it no matter what whether you listen to any more of what we have to talk about subscribe to the on purpose woman magazine share it with your women girlfriends because it's good content it's we want it's a force for good and we want more women to read the articles written by real women who are have a real purpose and they're doing life and and some of them uh, you know are more i don't know more educated maybe is the better way. i mean we're, we're but we're we're real i guess that's what i want to say we're all different and we're all real and we're all doing this and you get mm-hmm. value out of just reading people's thoughts their journeys their tools their information so get the magazine subscribe to it but um, let me just say really quick what i what i most i've always loved about the magazine is that real women are also willing to talk about the messiness of their life mm -hmm. you know and how and and how they work with that or you know because they're they're not just feel-good stories they end up being feel-good stories but they're not just about oh this is how you do this no this is what happened and this is how you know and so they're instructional they're inspirational they're educational they're they're fun. Sometimes they're humorous. They're all those things. 
-hmm. It's a great magazine. I love getting to be the correct creative director of it. (laughs) So my friends, one of the things that helps us keep the magazine going are the ads. And one of the things that Jenny and I have talked about since we started really being a kind of partnership or yeah, I don't know what we call us, but anyway, we support collaborators. Thank you, Jenny. Perfect word. We, since we started collaborating about three years ago, holy camoly. Um, But we've talked about in this group, providing women with the opportunity to be interviewed here because there's a large audience. We currently have over 6,000 members in the On Purpose Woman global community. And of course you can invite your friends to join us or share the link so more cool women join us in the group. But um, we've thought about what are ways to, uh, to you know, provide that opportunity. And last year we did the magazine every single month and I think we just got a little burnout. <laughs> <laughs> at least for the first six issues I can't remember it was like oh my god another magazine oh my god first another six magazine. issues well I don't know I think because we weren't dealing with print you know and the magazine being physically distributed I thought it would be less work but I never did the distribution anyway so mm-hmm. it was just as much work mm-hmm. yeah and it I don't was, think we realized no. until we really got into it because you're just ending one before and you're starting another one yeah yeah so I like this better yeah, so now it comes out every other month. The next issue is coming out July 1st. And so we I think we've caught up with ourselves and we've caught up with the magazine. And so I had the inspiration that I shared with Jenny and she said yes, which is to do this ad interview special where anyone who any woman who places an ad in the magazine for the July August issue that they can for only $25 more be interviewed by one of us in a Facebook live interview in the On Purpose Woman global community. And then also we're going to take that interview. We're going to upload it to YouTube. We're going to create, which will happen over the next week because we're going to put this video there. We're going to create a YouTube channel for the On Purpose Woman community, which we haven't decided what we're going to call it. So I'm not sure exactly yet if it's going to be whatever, be seen, be real, or real women, real, you know what, we're going to get there. Uh, We'll let y'all know. And um, so then all of those interviews will go there. People who get interviewed will have their YouTube link that they can share anywhere. As And on top of that, we will share that uh, video in the On Purpose Woman magazine page and other places. And so you're going to, so anybody who takes advantage of this opportunity is going to be seen and be heard. And so, gosh, when Jenny said, yes, I was so excited and we've been sharing about it. We've got several people who have agreed to do this, who are placing ads and doing interviews. We can, we have space for more. So if you are looking to get your message out, talk to us. Listen, I don't know what Jenny does when she talks to people, but when I talk to people about advertising, I'm going to tell you how to do a good ad. We're going to talk about what your message is, how you're going to... I'm, I'm assuming Jenny talks about things like that too. But um, I like love talking to people about placing ads and interviewing and what how you can think about the best way to do that for your business and your goals and where you're going. So, you know, if you're interested, you can type something below in the comments. If we can figure out how to get to those and see those while we're still, still on Facebook Live, if you have a question about that, about the community, about the magazine, type those in. But if you want to have a conversation with us, type it in there and or personal message me or Jenny or email Jenny or whatever. Reach out to us. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I'm excited about with it. Do you want to say more about how much the ads cost, about anything that people ask about that stuff? Yeah, let me first say that um, once you commit to doing this, we'll be in touch. We'll schedule your time. We want to do them during the months of July and August, Mm -hmm. but we need to act quickly to get your title and information about you because Catherine will be doing a big spread as many pages as it takes for with with the um, all the different interviews and the schedule of the interviews so so the women reading the magazine can already see oh wow in three weeks so and so was talking about this that sounds really good so it's again another place for you to be seen and people can get to hear you and the ads, actually, if you are not a dues paying member of the On Purpose Woman community, you can do an ad for as little as $60 an issue if you commit to six issues. 
and the, and that's sixty dollars that you pay every other month. So that's thirty dollars a month if you want to get down to that. And if you pay up front, like your your three hundred and sixty dollars up front, you still get a thirty six dollar ten percent discount on top of that. So that's um, and and if you join, if you really like the on purpose learning community, if you've been coming to our online meetings, we've got a number of different options. You can practically pay for your membership by the money that you save getting the member discount. So just talk to us about that and we can you can figure out what the best deal for you is. But just don't wait because we're only going to do this right now in July and August. You know, it's not going to happen in May. Well, we don't know yet, but we, we're not planning any further ahead than that. It's a big deal. It's definitely not going to be 25. It's not going to be 25. It's not going to be $25. That's for yeah. sure. And but this is you're getting in on like the ground floor because it's a cool new idea. And I uh, think that's anything else I need to say. The magazine always goes out on the first of the month for that that um, bi-monthly issue. So July 1st, it will hit people's inboxes. I guess I have an email list of about 2,200. I don't know what Catherine's is. It's up there and it goes out to all of our, to our email list. We put it all over social media. Um, the On Purpose Woman Facebook page on face on Facebook, <laughs> the On Purpose Woman page on Facebook has over 8,000 followers, and the magazine is always pinned to the top. And again, that's another place we're going to share your interview, and on our personal, we're going to share it everywhere. And I just, I think also it's all, we're creating a different kind of community, and I would think that other women who are being interviewed are going to want to share other women's things as well, because and that just amplifies our voices out there in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very exciting. Oh, let me also add um, that if, if not having an ad is the only thing getting your way, we have two options for you. One is free and one is extremely inexpensive. So I don't know if you want to say anything about what you did, Catherine. Or oh, sure. I'll be happy to. If you are trying to figure out how to put an ad together and you're like, oh, I don't know how to do it, you know, because, oh my goodness, I'm not a graphic designer. If you haven't checked out canva.com, you need to check it out. I created a face, uh, I'm sorry, a YouTube video that's like 25 minutes where I take you through the process of getting some ideas about what your content would be for an ad and then going to Canva. And, and I haven't used Canva in about two or three years. And though I'm comfortable with graphic stuff because I do use that kind of technology, I, I could figure things out unlike somebody who doesn't know anything. Mm -hmm. So I take you through the process and show you where to click and show you how to set it up. And I mean, Canva is amazing because it has these templates that already look beautiful. So if you can just fit in the template, your content, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, it yeah. would take you 15 minutes to put it together. Mm -hmm. So I, I just... And Canva's free. And so Canva's you nothing. free. Yeah. 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 Just a little time. Yeah. And so if that's still too much for you, if that's still, you don't want to spend the time on even learning anything new. Mm -hmm. We have a member of the On Purpose Woman community who has offered to do your Canva ad for you. And if you're a member, a dues pay member of the community, she will do a quarter or half page ad for just $25. And she will do a full page ad for 35. If you're not a member, it's just $10 more. So that is a deal. And she's and a graphic you, designer and digital marketer, so she knows she'll do a she'll do a pretty equity. Yeah, and and then you'll if you have it in there for three issues, that's a one time fee to have that mm -hmm. ad. Have it for six issues, one time fee for that ad, and then if yeah. it's good to go and you don't have to change anything, then you're good to go. And you can use so it I, in other places. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and something else I want to say, Catherine, because I keep forgetting this. You know, I think it was Marcy in one of our meetings, we talked about how women can take those interviews that we do and pull out like little content and do little wow. mini like videos with just a little bit of information. I don't know how to do that. I haven't looked at how to do that. She also said she would do a little mini class on how to do that if people wanted to. But I, I'm just saying, there's all kinds of opportunities. Once you get content down, there's all kinds of ways to repurpose it. It's not just a one-shot deal. Mm -hmm. I love it. So my friends, if you're watching this live, I know we have a comment, I'll go read it in just a minute. Or if you're watching the replay, uh, just type in if you want us to reach out to you to set up a time to chat as soon as possible. We originally said we wanted to know what was if people were going to do this by the 15th, which is Monday. Um, we haven't really decided if we're going to extend that at all 
So if you're watching this on Monday or Tuesday, then definitely reach out to us and see if you can still get in. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, or even later next week, because I mean, we have a little bit of flexibility here. Uh, but Ads are point, due on the 20th. I think I said the 20, they're doing the 20th, but I've given them a few extra days because all we got to do is plug that in, right, Catherine? You're always good with that. Yes. But knowing is, what you're going to talk about in your interview, we need that sooner because Catherine's going to have to create a big, you know, it's going to take her a lot of work to put all that stuff in because assuming we're going to have a lot of, a lot more people, I think we will. It's going to be a, at least a double, a full page spread now, mm -hmm. um, maybe bigger. So, so don't wait on that, that you don't have to have your ad in for a little bit yet. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, we have one comment so far. Lisa McCall said, we need a feminine approach in the world more than ever. And I, mm. I really agree with Lisa on that one. Yes. And I know we've got an article coming, right? One of my people, one of my clients, I'm so excited talking about a feminine approach to this. She is. Something. She is. Yeah. yeah so I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. Well, the Dalai Lama a number of years ago said the Western woman will save the world. So mm -hmm. we got work to do. Mm -hmm. No pressure. Do. <laughs> I'm, listen, yeah. I believe them and I'm ready. I'm step yeah. well, I'm stepping up to the, in my way. So women, exactly. I, exactly. Uh, yeah. we're get, I think we're getting ready to wrap up here. So I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Again, if you're watching the replay, comment, to share, tell, you know, um, let us know if you have a question about anything. Let's have a conversation yes. about the ad interview special. Come and play with us. And Catherine and I are really good interviewers too. So whichever one you go with, it'll be excellent. And we'll have fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I, <laughs> I We're going to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> I, see, I see an end. No, that end, I think, is for... Um, I need to go, play, go back over to Facebook to end this. Do I not? Oh, right. We're doing right. this through Zoom, people, in case you um, No, we're still. Yeah, hmm. there should be a place to end live somewhere. So unfortunately, um, this, well, not unfortunately, <laughs> Jenny is learning this for the first time. Yes, I'm just learning. Let me see. It may, you may actually be able to end live back on the Zoom platform. Maybe, you, let me go back over click, there and see. Click the link um, that you originally clicked. Oh, on. okay, maybe. Stop live stream. There we go. Bye, everyone. Okay. Thanks for hanging in there with us.